Today, I'm going to introduce you to my new golf bag. What's happening, Panda Nation? Peter Von Panda out here with my new golf bag. And the reason I got this is pretty specific. So I am trying to solve a problem I've been having that I think afflicts everyone, but you just become so desensitized to it, so used to it, that you just stop caring. And I don't want to be a society that doesn't care, especially as golfers. We should care. So let's care a little more. And this bag is going to help us do that. But before I show you why this golf bag was the one that I chose for very specific reasons, and those reasons are all up here at the top. But before we get to the top, let's give the undercarriage a little how's your father and take a look at what we get. Now, it does come in a few color schemes. I'm not even really sure what the brand was here, but it's got a little high flyers, Eagle look to it. It's those no name brands. I found it on Amazon. Oh, it's right here. Yeah, golf. Yeah. So not sure that's anything other than a golf bag manufacturer somewhere overseas that makes golf bags for big OEMs and just makes an off brand for themselves. It does come in a couple of different color schemes, probably not as many as I wanted, but blue is my favorite color. So this has a little electric blue on the highlights here this material here is interesting it's more of a woven like hard linen and that's actually not my favorite i just like that light nylon it makes it really light now i will say you can probably tell that this is actually a cart bag and not a stand bag there are no legs over here so if you are going to go to the simulator or you're going to put this down next to the clubhouse it's going to have to stand vertically no legs to do that but Usually these cart bags are pretty stable and this one actually has some pretty big, rigid textured feet down here. It should stand no problem. They tend to just be a little bigger, a little wider than stand bags, although this one is pretty small. I do want to show you that it comes with a shoulder strap right here, nicely padded, breathable material, two big metal D-rings top and bottom. We have a handle here to grab as well. We also have a couple of Velcro straps here so that you can run some stuff through there if you want to, the card strap or whatnot. You have a little bungee cord here and a sleeve right here with a little foot down there so you can put in a full-size golf umbrella. And I see we have some openings to the pockets over there and a hard-sided bag here. So it should hold its shape very nicely. We have a couple of rings, one on this side and one on this side. And this Velcro here is great for putting your glove, other things that you wanna just stick on there. You can hang your bag tags and all sorts of other stuff right here. Here's the other side of that opening for that pocket. And basically that's because this is the front of the bag. So if you're going to put this on a cart, you could run the strap underneath the pockets. So you have full access to all the pockets here without the pockets being blocked by the strap, which is really clever. But you might say, Pete, this big pocket on the front here, you just lift it up and run the strap through there. And now you've got access to say your rangefinder, whatever you want to put in here. Obviously, we have little T holders, and then we also have these little big straps here. So you can just put your finger in there and just pull on those. A bubble filler right there, but this would be perfect for a rangefinder. Down here, we also get these nice, easy pulls. You can put a glove finger in there. Again, a nice big pocket right there that goes down all the way to the bottom. So you can put golf balls in there. Then we have an ice cold pocket. Ice cold, just like me, baby. And right here, insulated material, but you can put in your beverages. I love that there are holes at the bottom there so that if you do have some ice or some condensation, it will drain out the bottom, not get all gunky and mildewy or anything like that. And then over on this side, what we have is a very large pocket. You can put in your weather covering, your extra golf balls, even shoes, but certainly your jackets and all that. Right here we have in this pocket, oh, it's lined with a little bit of fleece so that's probably good for valuables it's actually huge so you put your cell phone your phablet in there another pocket right here i'm getting more golf balls that's just another really big pocket and then on this side we have the same thing i bet this is another valuables pocket yep look at that another lined pocket right there again another huge pocket right here man this can just carry everything we've got the cover for the top there so you can cover that up in rain or travel and then another big pocket right here. So you can definitely carry, I don't know, three, four dozen golf balls, which will be great for me for a par three, nine hole course with water. All right. So 
let's go up here to the top. And this is the most important part. And I will transplant some of my clubs in here to show you what we've got here. First of all, we have an opening here so you can put in your alignment sticks, your training aids. But then what we have here are 14 openings. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. So you can carry the regulation amount of clubs in their own separate holders. But we have these little openings, these cutouts right here. And this black plastic is pretty hard, but this gray plastic right here is much softer. It's not super soft, but it's much softer, more squishy. And that's going to allow the club heads to sit in here, be held in place. And the beautiful thing about this is now I know where all my irons are. How many times have you come up to your golf bag and you're like, where's that six iron? Six, 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 six. There it is. And you pull it out or your putter or anything like that. You get your shafts scraped up, banged up. You get your heads banged up over time. You hear them clanking when you're driving in your cart. This prevents all of that. They're not going to bang. It's going to keep them from getting abused. It's going to keep them from getting worn out, especially if you travel with your golf clubs, you send them by ship sticks, you take them on the airplane, whatever it may be, they are going to stay in place. And the thing about this, this is not necessarily unique, but the thing about this is that they have organized these holes correctly. In one of the bags, I really liked but what they had are the woods up here and then the irons around the back. Now, I don't want to pull out my shorter iron from the back over a club that's taller than it. I wouldn't rather have my woods in the back because they're the tallest clubs, right? And maybe my putter up front here. But now I can put my woods right here, say driver, three wood, five wood hybrid, and they are all the taller clubs. So I am pulling those over the shorter clubs, but I can see all my shorter clubs right here. I can put my irons, right? I can put my wedges, my putter. So I can put my putter in this big one. You'll probably have an oversized grip there. But even if you have oversized grip, which I do, I use the Jumbo Max grips, I think they're going to fit in here just fine. So I can have my 60 degree wedge, 54, 50, 45, pitching, 9, 8, 7, and 6, right? Because I actually use a 5 hybrid, a 7 wood, a 5 wood, and a driver right there. So I am really stoked about this bag because I think it is going to preserve my clubs, make it way easier and more efficient to find clubs when I'm on the course and always know exactly where they are. And we've got a little extra space here for some of those other things that you may carry around with you. So I really like it. I like the materials. It seems really nice and high quality. It was like $164 on Amazon. So if you are looking for a cart bag, you're willing to give up the legs instead of a stand bag, but it doesn't seem very heavy. Maybe just a smidge heavier than your standard stand bag, but certainly pretty light enough for me. But I think the benefits of making my golf game a little easier, having pockets that are a little more accessible, having even more storage with me, it's just going to make my golfing experience that much more enjoyable. So if you want to invite me to your country club or private course or public course, let's go out and get around and I'll show you my new bag. But if you want to pick it up, if you want to stay organized, stay efficient, I'll put a link to this guy in the description below. Peter Von Banda, out. We can discover more and explore so much deeper.